All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rechach Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who I learned is true from. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing the truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the few Akwaf, the few sisters coming back being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. I'm the Akim Ha'amayan. And today, I just want to um, dive in on how Jake, man, the Israelite man and the Israelite woman, two-thirds of you are destroyed, man. And to be honest, man, to hell with you, man. Because if y'all don't repent and come back and serve the Lord, man, you got judgment coming for you, okay? This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. Okay? Hey. They set their heart on their iniquity, man. Their mind is on being a nigga, a whore, a harlot, having what having. Okay, the Israelite woman, two thirds of you. You don't want a man over you, okay? You want to run the household. Two thirds of the Israelite nation, you Israelite men. You want to keep being a a nigga. You want to keep being a dope boy, a drug dealer. A, a gangster, a two third, a, a degenerate, someone who uh, you don't want to be a man, okay? You don't want to come back and serve the Lord as a man, okay? You want to keep worshiping Cesare Bogier, sweet baby Ray, uh, this fucking pedophile Jesus Christ. You want to keep worshiping. I worship at Allah, Muslims, when you don't even know the history of it and what they did to the Israelite nation, okay, which is another topic for another day. But like the scriptures say, y'all are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. The Lord ain't even, the Lord ain't even dealing with y'all, man. Two-thirds of his own people, man. Okay? You just sit back and watch and pay attention, man. These people are bugged out, man. You can't talk to them about the truth. They don't get it. Well, I feel this, I feel that. Well, the scriptures say lean out into your own understanding, man. Okay? Well, like it was a guy at the truck driving school yesterday. I'm up here in Texas, and he say, we don't supposed to uh, grow our hair out on our face. Man, the scriptures say prove our things. The scriptures say prove our thing, man. This is uh, 2 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. See? Contrary to proper belief, man, we're supposed to have beards on our face. Okay. Then there were certain and told, this is First Chronicles 19 and 5. Then there were went certain and told david how the men were served and he sent to meet them for the men were greatly ashamed and the king said tarry at jericho until your beards be grown and then return okay you don't supposed to cut your beards off um let me see if i can mar The Wadi Habashamal shout for that. This is Leviticus chapter 19, 27. It says, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Okay. Yeah, man. What's wrong with Israel, man? Israel is Israel is wicked. 
two thirds of these people are wicked, man. Okay. I was telling this uh woman that um this specific scripture I'm bringing out, Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. I'm going to start at verse 21. It reads, How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sad as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Okay? Because ultimately, man, y'all hate the Lord, man. To be honest, y'all hate the Lord. A woman don't want a man with multiple women. She ain't going for that. Oh, now nah, you can't have multiple women. You can't do that. You talking to a whole another female. She don't got no knowledge, man. But at the same token, she over here probably talking to Ray Ray Tay Tay and everybody else that her man don't know about. And he's serving the Lord. How about Shema was shot? And it's going to be revealed, okay? Because we understand that the scriptures say all things are lawful unto me. And, and all things are not co and, uh, expedient. Meaning, like, it, it, you don't got to do it. It's not mandatory for a man to talk to multiple women, but if he, if he, if he, if it ain't hindering him doing his truth, if it ain't hindering him serving the Lord, okay, uh, he ain't wrong. Long as he serving the Lord, still doing his work, and it ain't throwing him off, okay. Because you women don't understand, man, okay. And you men don't understand the fact that you don't supposed to be talking to a woman that got a man, man. She has a man. That's committing adultery. That's adultery, man. Y'all so slow. Now, did I bring out Jeremiah chapter 4? I like it for that. Let me, let me go back. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children, meaning stupid. They have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. If I did break it out, I brought it out again. But, man, people, Israelites are two-thirds of you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Man, you are wise to do evil, but to do good, to come back to serve the Lord, y'all about Shema Shai, you have no knowledge, man. Y'all don't know the Lord, man. He said, my people is foolish. They have not known me. You not you you haven't known the Lord, man. Okay. You haven't known the Lord, man. Okay, let me bring this out since I quoted it. First Corinthians chapter ten and twenty-three. It reads, All things are lawful for me. But all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things that if I not. Okay, so it's not wrong for a man to do that. But at the end of the day, uh, he's not wrong. And women are not going to get that. So, hey, it is what it is, man. You still, you can't put your woman away because she don't want to deal with it. You know, if she's hindering you from the truth and doing things in that nature, okay, that's a different story. If she's cheating on you, that's a different story. She if she having adultery with another man, that's, that's a different story. That's what I mean by cheating. Because, so like I spelled that word all wrong. Adultery. Exodus chapter 20, verse 14, thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay, you shall not commit adultery. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32. But whoso committeth adultery with the woman, lack of understanding, he that doeth it, it destroyeth his own soul. Meaning, okay, you see a beautiful woman, and she tells you she got a man out the gate, bro, leave her alone. Don't talk to her about nothing that'll put you in a sexual vibration or anything like that. No, man, you got to fight that flesh, man, because she got a man. And a lot of women are lying to, to us. They have men. 
but they just don't want to admit it. So you have to trust the Lord. How about she might try to send you a sign, give you some type of insight on if she's lying or not, man. Because these women don't give a dog on, man. Ezekiel chapter 16. Um, it reads, but as a wife that, that committed adultery was taking strangers instead of that husband. Okay. I'm looking for... Deuteronomy. So like it. So like it. Let me. See, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 22. And if a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, she got a man, then they shall both of them die. But the man that lay with the woman and the woman, so shall thou put away evil from Israel. So you got to realize, you don't, oh, a man can talk to a woman as long as she doesn't have a husband. But... Israel, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian women, you don't even understand that you're going off so bad by sleeping with multiple men, being with multiple men, especially when you heard the truth. You've been told that you can't do it, and you still do it. Okay, and you wonder why you jacked up, man. You wonder why nothing is going right in your life. Okay. The Lord is watching you, man. The Lord is going to judge you. So, I just want to dive in on that particular part. Now, let me go into um, how y'all hate the Lord, man. Proverbs chapter 8. I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 35. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh. But he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul, all they that hate me love death. Okay, so if he ain't come back uh, in our honesty and in sincerity, serving the Lord wholeheartedly, Israelite man, Israelite woman, you hate the Lord, man. You hate correction. You hate the light, and you love the dark. You love the dark. You love iniquity, man. You love thinking shit go your way when it don't, man. Like, who you think you are? You, you ain't create none of this that you see out here. Okay? You were created. And you two-thirds were created to do what you do, man. That's why Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 11, it reads... Then said the Lord, Yahweh unto me, pray not for this people, for their good. We don't supposed to be praying for y'all, man. Shit. Excuse my language. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and, ob and, and oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Whoo. Cold cut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cold cut. Lord ain't dealing with y'all, man. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 14. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Okay. That's what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all don't want to listen. And, and, and 
we ain't losing sleep because two thirds of y'all don't want to get it, man. We got to do these lessons and these shows and make these videos to warn the sheep out there, the sincere sheep, because the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, okay? And that's what the Lord knows, man, that the, the sincere believers are going to follow him while two thirds are going to remain in folly, foolishness, wickedness, pride, and pride go before what? Destruction, okay? The Lord hate that pride, man. Y'all jacked up in the spirit. But Lord willing, I make another lesson today. I just wanted to get up and uh, get some videos in to drop a lesson while I'm way hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from home. But um, Lord willing, y'all was edified. Until the next time, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praise to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, laboring 100% doctrine, who I learned the truth from. Shallow on to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And shallow on to the sincere Akwaf, the few sisters coming back being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. Shallow on, Abal Babal, Kwame Asha Allah, Barak Karl Akim, Shallow on, keep the faith, Israel.